Uh, bang, bang. We are uh, privileged to have a guest speaker in today. I'm going to let them introduce all of them. Um, obviously, it ties right in with what we've been talking on the uh, mental health issues and the depression, uh, anxiety, and again, depression and anxiety can be what? Can be treated. Yes, very good. It can be treated. Now, a couple things. Don't forget, your packets will be due tomorrow. Okay, I will give you a little time at the beginning of class to get them finished up. Uh, but they need to be finished tomorrow because tomorrow then we'll jump into the CPR unit. Also, current events are due Friday. Don't forget about current events. Yes? Did I leave mine in here yesterday? I didn't see it. We'll look for it. But I'm going to turn it over to these fine ladies and let them get going with their presentation. Good morning, everyone. Oh, no, that wasn't. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Um, my name is Laura. Hi, Laura. And, hi. And this is Kelly. Good morning. Kim. Good morning. Good morning. And Jennifer. Hi. <laughs> and we are all nurses at the college uh, in Columbus, Honduras College of Nursing. We're currently LPNs obtaining our RN degree. So today, our goal is to give you tips and tools for helping yourself or a friend suffering with teen depression. Okay. Now if I click too fast, I'm sorry. Here we go. Our learning objectives will be as follows. Define depression. Recognize depression. Cope with depression. What to do if your friend is depressed. And have a safety plan. Okay? So first, what I'd like for you to do, I'd like for you to count off one, two, three. One, two, three, two, three, four. <laughs> he was one. Two, three, one, two, three, I'd like for all the threes to stand up. All the threes stand up. Now, I want you all to look around each other. One out of every third person will be diagnosed and treated with depression as a teen. Okay? All right. Have a seat. Okay. We're going to start out with a game. It's called Guess This Famous Person Who Suffers from Depression. Okay? This person has blonde hair. Is the spokeswoman for CoverGirl, co-starred with Adam Sandler in two movies, co-starred in E.T. Yes. Is it that one lady from uh, Fifty First Dates? Who would that one lady be? I don't Drew know her name. <laughs> Drew Barry. There you go. Drew Barry. Oh, Drew Barry. Oh, 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 I should have that. Very good. Oh, oh, very good. Oh, 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 wait. There's four more, you guys. There's time. <laughs> there you go. Cameron Diaz. <laughs> <laughs> Guess who this famous person? He is from Cleveland. He overdosed on narcotics. Oh, he did. Is Drew Carey. Drew Carey. Drew Carey. Can you catch? Nice hand. Very good. And that's a military picture. He didn't get his. Alright. Yes. Famous actor. Played a detective in a movie. Co-starred in a movie where he is dumb. Oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, Jim? Did he call Um, Jim Carrey. That's right. Don't worry. Where's one? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Share. Right. Jim Carrey. Oh, 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 Characters in the book practice magic. Right here, right here. Oh, I got this. Yes. Yeah, very good. Very good. All right. This famous person played on the TV show Good Times, which I know is before your time. Oh, no, I love that movie. You love that movie? I love that show. Do you know who it is? I don't know his name. It's a girl. Oh. Yeah, Jack Murphy. Who had their hand up first? Um, I don't know. I had it first. I'll give it to you. Here you go. <laughs> Just share. <laughs> All right. 
All right. Can anyone tell me what they think depression is? Yes. When someone's depressed, they feel alone. And, like, nobody... They feel alone in what? Yeah, they feel alone and like, they don't think that they can, like, I don't know. Very good. No, good. And you? Um, is it like a lack of self-esteem? Anyone else? Depression. It's perfectly normal for you to feel sad. But it is what happens with depression while you may feel sad or irritable on occasion. If you find that those feelings don't go away or you become so intense you just cannot deal with them, you may be suffering from depression. Okay, it's not just, as it says here, it's not just the blues or a bad hair day, and we all have bad hair days. But technically, it's a chemical cloud in the brain. And those chemicals, and we're going to get into those a little bit later on, they're all messed up. And they don't know how to process. And they get jumbled and mixed up and confused. And also, children as young as three have been diagnosed with depression. But, as Mr. Knapp said earlier, depression can be treated and managed. And that's why we're here today. We're here to help you cope with some of that depression, give you tips and tools, and that is our goal today. So, if you constantly feel irritable, sad, or angry, feel as though nothing seems fun anymore and you just don't see the point of trying, feel bad about yourself, worthless, guilty, or just wrong in some way. You sleep too much, or not enough, and I know all of you like to sleep. 10 or 12 hours, that's acceptable for you guys. But when it gets to 18 to 20 hours, there's a problem. Um, you have frequent unexplained headaches or other physical problems. Stress can cause you to have, like I said, a headache. It can cause your bones and joints to ache. It can cause you to be nauseated. It can actually cause you to throw up. Um, feel as though anything um, and everything makes you cry. Someone can say good morning to you and you want to cry. Um, notice you have gained or lost weight without consciously trying to. Have a lack of concentration. Your grades may be dropping, and they drop usually drastically. And most of the time, the teacher will notice that. And the first thing they want to do is find out what's going on. You feel helpless and hopeless, and I think someone said that along that line. And you find yourself thinking about death or suicide. And I want to emphasize this. If you feel that, you need to talk to someone immediately. And we're going to go into that a little bit later on. Any questions so far? Some triggers. But I want you guys to tell me, what do you guys think are some triggers that would cause stress or depression? death of a loved one or a friend, divorce of parents, that's traumatic on someone, breaking up with a girlfriend or boyfriend, and that probably has happened to about everyone in this classroom, that makes you sad, school stress, I don't think Mr. Knapp causes any school stress on you, does he, except for when it's test day, does that cause you some stress? Or their packets are due. Yeah, your packets, are your packets due tomorrow? Okay. Peer pressure, I think someone mentioned peer pressure. 